this is Mario for Life Saving Systems. We're going to talk about ring rollout and what it is and uh, how it happens. Uh, and it's about the hook type. This is a standard mil spec hook. There's still some of these out there, uh, believe it or not, even though they're, they're, they're pretty hazardous things. They're really susceptible uh, to ring rollout uh, and to snagging. But anytime there's a beak that sticks out past the gate, anytime you have this situation where the beak is protruded farther out than the gate, you have the potential for ring rollout. And it's all about geometry and the size of the rings. So, and, and what that looks like is, uh, that's fine, that's hooked, and that's never going to go anywhere. But if you get in this situation where the ring can roll up and be on top of that beak, if you can get that situation, now you can hang from that. Now right now, you haven't rolled out, but still, now you're using the hook in a way. You're not hanging from the meaty part of the hook. You're hanging from the movable gate. Okay? And so, what you can get is that, with just a little pressure, I get that situation. Now, that's not the way you want to be hoisting. But this has the ability to hold some weight and can get me high in the air. And then, with just a little bit of agitation, that's ring roll up. And now I've fallen to my doom. So this is a, not a situation you want to have. If the beak is here and this gate is not a locking gate or manual locking, which means it might be unlocked, and your ring's just the right size, you can hang from that thing and that's not the way the hook was designed and you can work your way through the gate and eventually roll out of it. That's ring roll out. Now, some hooks are more susceptible than others. Again, it's about geometry. This particular brand of carabiner, this, lock, this locking carabiner, seems to it goes on the hook. If I roll it this way, it's, it's just at an angle where I'm just going to hang from the beak of the hook and from the gate, and that's bad enough. If I roll this way, it just comes right out. And that, again, just the way this thing is shaped, it's just perfect to get in here and come out. That's ring roll it. Now that's almost better than the other version because if this happens to me, I'll never get off the ground. And so uh, at least this one will let me go. But you can see where that would be a really bad situation uh, to be hanging from the helicopter in. And that's ring roll it. It's rolled out of its proper position. This is a D lock hook, D for double lock. It's a positive locking hook. And the important thing for ring roll it is there's no beak on this device. So what you're looking for is the hook that doesn't have any beak sticking out there. Because if there's something hanging out here, if the hook comes up here, yeah, it makes it a little easier to connect, but we're not in the business of things being easy. We're in the business of things being safe. So with this device, there's nothing to grab onto to roll out of. And also the gate is locked. I couldn't push the gate open with the ring if I tried to. I have to get in here, press and open. That's a positive locking hook as opposed to a manual lock where I can lock it or unlock it and leave it that way. So, if you want to rid yourself of the possibility of ring rollout, you either have to check every piece of gear you might use on the plane ever and see if it'll hook on your beak, and they can hook on it. If there's a beak there, there's the right geometry to hook onto it. Or, you get yourself a hook that, where you simply can't roll out. It's impossible because of the design, the design of the hook. There's no beak sticking out to hang on to, the gate's locking, and there's no way, no matter what piece of gear I put on here, can I possibly get that gate open and hang from this thing improperly. I'm Mario Vitani for Life Saving Systems. Stay safe out there.